Fake Chinese Foods Part 1, 2, and 3, Counterfeited Foods, and Food Imports from China. We covered it all here on this channel. I know a lot of our viewers are concerned about foods that are imported from China to the US or whichever country you are from, and understandably so given their countless food scandals and toxic ingredients that have occurred. What seems to fly under the radar is how much other foods we buy at our local supermarkets that are actually imported from other countries as well. So we decided to take a trip to our local stop and shop to show you guys what we're talking about. You will be surprised on just how many foods that are imported despite shopping at an American market. In this video, we will cover which foods tend to be the most imported from overseas and which foods you might have to watch out for given the farming regulations may be different in other countries and they might be toxic for you. We also cover labeling meant to trick the consumers such as items that say packed and distributed in the USA but the food can really be produced in the other country. Product of the USA. It says product of the USA on it. Multinational corporations bring in foreign beef from countries like Australia, Brazil, Uruguay, repackage it and market made in the USA. What? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I can't even believe that. I think that's awful. I think that's not truthful. What? Really? So make sure to stick around to the end of the video as there are a lot of things you need to be aware of that we cover in this video. But first, smash on the like button and share this video with at least one other person you care about. And off to Stop and Shop we go. Okay, walking into Stop and Shop, everything looks clean and everything is well stocked. That is, until we make our way to one of the most questionable foods you can buy at a market, garlic. As most of our viewers know by now, China produces and exports up to 80% of the world's garlic supply. We cover why garlic from China can be toxic for you in both these videos, so you should watch it if you haven't already. Now the first thing in question is, why is there no clear labeling for the origin of this garlic? Shouldn't the garlic be sold in a pack or a bag or have some kind of labeling? It seems it was placed in this container with no labels or stickers or any information whatsoever on where it's from. What are the chances of this garlic being from China? Let's look into this further. One thing that stands out immediately is how unusually white it looks. Chinese garlic is known to be bleached to look whiter. Also, when picking up the garlic to analyze it further, I noticed that where are the roots? Chinese garlic tends to have roots removed so it will weigh less and reduce shipping costs and without the root, it looks cleaner, thus making it more desirable for consumers. When comparing to American farmed garlic, it tends to have more dark spots and the roots tend to be left on. Now beneath it, garlic that's minced and pre-peeled garlic. The labeling says distributed in the USA, but there's a lot of companies that source their food from overseas and then on their label, they can put packaged or distributed in the USA to mislead customers to think it's American-made product. That is often done with apple juice, which we'll cover later in this video. I personally look for something that says made in the USA, grown in the USA, or even something that says product of the USA. We make our way to another food that is well known to be imported from other countries, such as China. We are in the frozen seafood aisle, and let's take a look at this tilapia. Look at the top left corner. It says Great American Seafood Imports. Key word is import, which means it's from another country. Now notice the American flag logo. It is an imported product but has an American flag. It seems a bit tricky as upon first glance, you might think it's American made because of the logo with the American flag. Now also take note of the farm rates as well as we will cover this in a bit. Let's turn the pack over to the back to see where the tilapia is really imported from. Okay, first thing that grabs my attention again is the American flag logo. Take note how it's on the both and front and back of the packaging. Stay focused with me as we scroll to the bottom right of the package right above the barcode. Bingo! Do you see it? It says product of China. Now let's look at another brand of tilapia. Turn it over to the side and once again, it's a product of China. Not surprising considering the fact that up to 70% of the tilapia sold in America is imported from China according to Healthline. But check this out. Notice how it says distributed by an American company, but the product itself is from China. These are key things we notice on labeling and packaging that can be tricky. So take note, if it says process, package, or distributed by an American company with an address in the US, it does not mean the product itself is from or made in America. It can be a food that is imported from overseas countries but that is packaged in the USA and that explains the distributor in America 
for product of China labeling. But to the average consumer who is not paying attention to these small details, they might think this is from the USA based on where it's packaged. Always be sure to look out for more information. Personally, if I see a food that is labeled packaged in the USA, but do not see where the food is really sourced from, it raises my attention. So let's go back to the farm-raised tilapia from China. The farming practices of tilapia in China are quite questionable as there are concerns about the fish being fed feces from other animals as their source of food and chemicals being used and the quality of the water that the tilapia swim in. We cover this in our top 10 imports from China you might not know about video. Now let's look at another type of fish, Polak fillets, also a product of China. Here's another brand. It says processed in the USA, but the fish itself is surprise, surprise, a product of China. So far, all the frozen fish we've seen are imported from China. Moving on, let's check out some of the seafood in this aisle. These clams are imported from Thailand. The mussels here are a product of Chile. This shrimp power bites is farm raised and a product of Indonesia, but is distributed by an American company. For this pack of shrimps, the label says distributed by an American company, but the shrimp is actually from India. The coconut shrimp is a product of Thailand. This box of popcorn shrimp says with domestic and imported ingredients. Now, according to an article by Oceana.org, shrimp is the most popular seafood here in the US, but up to 90% of the shrimp that is consumed in this country is actually imported from overseas, mostly from countries like Thailand, India, and Indonesia. That means 9 out of every 10 shrimps you eat may be from another country. Now, referring to an article by Consumer Reports, shrimp labeling at grocery stores can be confusing, it doesn't make sense, or worse, it can be deceptive. Sellers may not always reveal the true origins of where the shrimp is, and at some point, they might not even know. Hence what we mentioned earlier, the labeling that says packaged or distributed in the USA, but does not say where the product is actually from. Consumer Reports also reviews, according to the test they conducted, many of the imported shrimp contain bacteria and illegal antibiotic residues. We also covered gel-injected shrimps from China in this video, so watch it on our channel. Some of the other seafoods, such as fish sticks, breaded codfish, clam shrimps, say distributed in the USA, but there's no other information of where the food is sourced from. One thing we also noticed that the part where it says bioengineered food ingredient. Now this raises our attention because that doesn't sound very natural. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us cover this topic. Remember, the more comments means the more likely we'll do a future video on this. We're now making the way to the juice aisle. If you watch this video, then you are fully aware that over 70% of the apple juice consumed in the US is with apple concentrate that comes from China. The apple juice from China has not been free of controversy such as high levels of arsenic from lack of regulations due to the use of pesticides. Now let's check the first apple juice we see on the shelf. Okay, it shows distributed by a company from the US, but what does that really mean? When we thoroughly inspect further, we find in small letters on the bottom side of the bottle that says concentrate from the US and or China. So does that mean that apples from both countries? Okay, let's look at another brand and this one says it uses apple concentrate from Turkey. And this apple juice says it uses concentrate from China. Well, at least now we know which country it is, not and or. or. We're over at the pork section now. In this video, we revealed that the largest pork distributor in the world, Smithfield's Foods, based out of Smithfield, Virginia, was purchased by China in 2013. We we're curious about this, so let's check on some of the packaging on the pork products. They mostly all say distributed in the US, but no other further information. According to this article by AP News in April of 2020, a spokesperson from Smithfield's Food said the company does not import any food from China and everything is made locally on American soil. Let us know what you think in the comments. Let's go through the canned food aisle now. This can of tuna is a product of Thailand, but notice how it says distributed by American company based out of California. Some of the other canned tuna say packed in the USA without further information. Here's another brand of tuna that is also a product of Thailand. Now onto the canned vegetables. The canned corn is distributed in the US, but no further information on where the actual corn is from. The artichoke is a product of Spain. This other one is imported from Peru and distributed by an American company based out of New Jersey. 
The cranberry sauces are distributed in the USA, but no other information is given. As we make our way down to the lower shelf, we discovered sliced peaches that are a product of China. These pineapples are sourced from the Philippines. Now moving over to the next shelf, these canned mandarins are also a product of China. Canned pineapples are a product of Thailand, and the one next to it on this left is from the Philippines. These sliced canned peaches are again a product of China, distributed by an American company based out of California. Canned peaches from China have come under controversy when it was discovered that it contained dangerously high levels of lead due to a lack of regulation in which lead is used to seal the cans. Again, we cover this in detail in our video, so watch it when you get a chance. Now moving on to the frozen fruits. These strawberries are packaged in the US but are sourced from Mexico. Between the canned and frozen fruits, almost all of it is imported from overseas. I hardly noticed any that were a product of the US. These frozen edamame are a product of China. The frozen peas were from Mexico and more frozen edamame from China. That is the end of our stop and shop food shopping tour. We hope you gain valuable insight from this video. If you like this type of video style of us going to different supermarkets to check food and where they might be imported from, let us know in the comments. If you want to see a fake Chinese food that can kill you part 4, where we cover fake foods such as toxic ice cream that never melts, exploding watermelons due to growth hormone injection, and fake dumplings and wontons made from toxic flour and fake pork, then let us know in the comments as well. Until then, stay informed and genius tomato out.